Like it happened all so quickly, it's like, okay. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> okay, we're done with commissions. I don't, I don't know what I said to the the guy, but I, I, I like his thing. But, like, he's talking about like the author wants to keep adding more and more things to his character, and the publisher is like telling him that's gonna get confusing. Uh, my opinion on it is. It's great to have a lot of abilities, but the thing is, when that happens, the, arth the author tends to forget they have those abilities, and they don't really use them to full capacity. Like in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like, they forgot uh, Jotaro could use like some star finger move. He only used it like once, and then, um, who else? Coco- Co Queen? Coin? Whatever this fucking name is. Like he did some move against Jotaro when he was like painting a picture and he like slashed at him physically just by painting a pinch picture of him doing it. And they never used that move again. I'm like, like what the fuck? Like you kind of piss off the readers more than anything. Like, where, where like... It's cool you have all these abilities, but if you don't use them ever again, then like, what the fuck is the point of adding them, you know? It's just for like, fluff? Just to have something going on? I don't know, that's that's the only thing I could say about that. Having abilities, it's cool, like more abilities and whatnot, but if the author forgets, then that's kind of like... It looks bad on the story. It's like, there's so many plot holes, like... What if they just used this one skill that the author just completely forgot about? Like, they could have completely changed the, the story, you know? Or, like, he got his ass whooped by some enemy, and then, like, and then the readers are like, What if he did this? What if he did that? I don't know. That's some shit they have to worry about if they add too many abilities. Mm. That's my dick. It's fine. As long as the author uses them throughout the story and just doesn't just bury them. But if they're an ability that's just irrelevant, then... Like with, um... What is it? My Hero Academia? Spoilers! For anime watchers, I mean, I, I read the manga, so I, I'm kind of a little up to date. I mean, I still need to read a little bit more, but, um... I mean, he does show that he gets, like, the whip work added to his arsenal, and he'll learn more. That's what what's cool about his, because he actually used everything in <clears throat> together with his ultimate strength, and then he uses the whips to be a little bit more agile and whatnot. And he has other perks that kind of, like, uh rounds out his entire kit and it makes him more of a badass here you know what i mean that's a cool way of using abilities because they all synergize together mm. Mm. that's a cool way unlike um what's it called drag ball z which i haven't watched in ages i just didn't really like the new ones um because, I don't know, I haven't really, I guess I'm a little bit biased, but, I don't know, it feels like they usually don't overcome the bad guys unless they do a transformation. There's no really unique uh, strategy they have to do. It's just like, oh, okay, I guess I have to go further beyond and obtain super saiyan 6 or some other variation of that it's just like another color and it's like it really it's just like i don't know it did kind of defeats the purpose of it like like sure you guys are just monkeys and bashing head against uh, opponents and whatnot but it's like if that's your only way of trying to like overcome an enemy it's kind of lame like you could be a little bit more unique with it i know it's like fighting and whatnot but you could at least Put a little bit more effort on how you kill the actual bad dudes. I mean, I think they do, but I think that's, that's what kind of... 
throwing me off a bit. Like, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan God 2! Uh, what's it called? Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, it's like... Okay, how, m how many more? I mean, I like Super Saiyan 4 because it was kind of actually different. Because it was like, what? You can actually see the monkey side of him, and it kind of makes sense. He's like benefiting from this primal power, unlike just a simple color change of his hair and like more electric. I don't know. That's what I thought about it. It's cool. And then they made it not canon for some reason. I mean, eventually they. I, think they put it into canon, but just like a separate universe? I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to that shit. Not saying it's bad, it's just... I don't know. I'm like that turn down from that. Mm. Still enjoy Dragon Ball Z, but it's... I don't know.